Hey there, this is just a quick little video tutorial on how I was able to capture a really cool image that I wanted to incorporate into one of my capture page opt-in box areas in my InstaBuilder through WordPress and um, how easy it was to do. So I was out here the other day on this busymoms.com. I see an ad that catches my eye, you know, who wants to be a millionaire. It's got this other text flashing up, so I click on it. It takes me to this really cool landing page where I take a look at all the different components of the landing page and I say, oh, here's all these things that I really like about it. This is really cool. Uh, let me go ahead and capture. And I'm screen capturing here, so if you don't have the software, you can get it for free. You can get a free account from jing.com, and jing is spelled j i n g dot com and it'll give you the little sunshine at the top of your uh, computer once you get it installed and you can start to capture uh, different pictures or elements off the internet that you might want to use in your own marketing um, which really eliminates the need to be a you know perfect graphic artist so then you hit this little capture image button and look, we've got exactly what we want off of that page, and we can use it on one of our pages. So we're just going to name it something that you remember. Save it in a folder where you save your stuff that you're working on. And then the next step is just to open up a blank Word document and simply click the insert, and then you know insert your photos onto the page. And to make the photos move like this, all you have to do is a right click on the photo, text wrapping, and it should be marked for tight. Once you make that change, then you can use your mouse to just move the picture around and align things. So I've got two different pictures here. These arrows, I think it was one arrow, and I turned it into three, or I may have found three, but it was a while back. So I've just saved these arrows in my image files because I really like to use them with different graphics. So I'm putting two pictures together, then the little sunshine, the jing up here, taking another screenshot. Oops, let me close it out here. So obviously I don't want that box around the picture, so I got to get that off of there. Taking another screenshot of exactly what I want it to look like, and then I'm saving it just like we did a few seconds ago. Um, and then after you have it saved on your computer, you just simply go into your WordPress site, your WordPress blog, where you're working with your InstaBuilder capture, pa capture page plugin. And you're going to go to your media first. And then once you're inside your media, you're going to add new. And you're going to take that picture that you just created, select files, take that picture, and go ahead. and load it in. Okay, So select whatever picture it was and for that example it would have been this one. Okay now once it's loaded in you're going to be able to click this little edit button. And once you get to the edit, I mean you can resize it but um, you know make sure that uh, you know what size you want and you can resize it but for the purposes of just showing you how to do this simply copy this URL control C if you're on a PC and then you're basically going to go to your pages go to your InstaBuilder page and this particular picture I put with my opt-in area so I just went down to my opt-in area, opt-in image, control V to paste that same code that I just took out of my media library right into here, save my draft, and then preview my page, and boom, the picture is right there because it's pulling it from that URL right out of my media library. So that media library is actually giving me a hosted picture. So the picture is hosted on your site and it'll show up when you put the code in to this InstaBuilder uh, capture page system. So hopefully that's been helpful. 
And what I'll go ahead and do, uh, Brenda, is I'll go ahead and uh, paste the picture into our group and anybody that wants to grab the picture can grab it. But if you want to make your own of something really cool that you found online, that's how simple it can be. Bye for now.